If you've explored Hogwarts enough, there's a good chance that you've encountered the large wooden puzzle doors that are surrounded by strange beast symbols and locked behind mathematical equations. These puzzles are known as arithmancy doors, and while they may seem intimidating at first glance, they're actually relatively easy to solve once you learn what the symbols represent. And we're going to show you what they mean and how to solve these doors right now. First off, it's worth mentioning that there is a cipher for these doors, giving you the numeric value of each symbol. You'll quickly discover that you absolutely don't need the cipher, but for completionist's sake, we're gonna show you where the cipher is located. Luckily, it's right next to the first door that we're going to solve together. A great starting place for this is at the Hogwarts North exit on the Flying Class Lawn. Once here, enter the castle and follow along with the video to see exactly where you need to go to find the chest that holds the cipher. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. How nice to see you, my young friend. Now that we're here, you'll see a lockbox on a bench next to a chalkboard with numbers scribbled on it. Open it and congrats, you now have the cipher. Looking at the cipher, you'll see a slew of mythical creature symbols, each with a numeric value starting with zero and ending with nine. Now let's do a quick turn and look at the first door. Looking at the door, and every arithmancy door, you'll see that the symbols are actually already in order. Which is why we mentioned, once you understand that the numbers from left to right are 0 through 9, you'll never actually need to look at the cipher ever again. Now that that's settled, let's solve the first door. Each arithmancy door has two simple equations to solve, a single question mark and a double question mark. The goal here is to add up the surrounding numbers so that way they equal the center number. We're essentially solving for x, or in this case, question mark with the rest of the equation being numbers and symbols. So, the first equation shows that the answer is nine, and we have a two in this symbol here. Using our cipher, or just by counting the numbers, we'll see that the symbol is a three. Three plus two is five, which means the question mark has to be four. Two plus three plus four equals nine. Nailed it. Now we're gonna go to the single question mark switch on the wall and roll until we get the symbol that we need. Second equation, we have a four. Zero plus one is one. So it looks like we need a three to solve this one. Three looks to be the Hydra, so let's roll the double question mark until we get the matching symbol. And there we go. Enjoy the mysteries that lay beyond the door. For more on Hogwarts Legacy, be sure to head over to IGN.com to check out our growing Hogwarts Legacy wiki and interactive map. And of course, for everything else video games, stick with IGN.